Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends. So obviously the new update is out and with it, as per usual, comes a massive load of brand new dragons as well. And so today we are going to be going through 14 of the new adult dragons that have been released with the new update. Obviously they may not be readily available in the game, but as far as we are aware, these dragons are in the game's programming and so probably will become available at some point. And we do also know that a few of these dragons are available through card packs as well, so that is another interesting thing. But we're going to start off with the New Year 2 dragon. And so I am guessing that this majestic looking gentleman is probably going to be like the Bunt Dragon, possibly. So for the second year anniversary of DML, in which case I love this guy. I am very, very prepared for that. I would love it so much. And then the second dragon is a magic dragon. And I know a lot of people have been saying, I would love to see a magic element in Dragon Mania Legends. So I don't think from this that magic is going to be a singular element. It could be in future, I could be wrong. This guy looks very, very nice, and I'm not sure on his typing as of yet. Same with all of these guys, but when we find out, obviously, I will keep you updated on it. And then we have the Night Dragon, completely closed off, and I believe this is one of the card pack dragons as well. Pretty nifty looking guy, and the Hazmat Dragon, he, he does not look happy. That is all I'm going to say. But I remember seeing him on one of the clan update logs before the actual update was released and seeing his egg. So it is pretty cool. Just in his hazmat so so weird. And a, nut, a delicious looking hamburger dragon right here. I love the dragons where they're just so incredibly ridiculous like this one. Like, I, I wouldn't think of creating a hamburger dragon, but it just looks so good. <laughs> I love the detailing and everything that they've done on this guy in particular. He is probably one of my favourites that I have seen so far out of the new dragons. So, you know, this guy, I, I really like this guy. And then we've got the angel dragon, which almost looks like a Christmas themed sort of Christmas tree decoration, if you get what I'm trying to say there, and with some crazy golden locks. And it looks like it is made of like present wrapping as well so a very interesting design on this dragon and if this is available sometime near christmas that would be a very sort of cute looking thing for us to have and going from one extreme to the other we now have the burning hellfire death destroyer dragon right here like this guy is definitely very different to what we just looked at and uh I really like him as well. It almost looks like he's got a rib cage, and you can like see his pouring demon heart out of the front. I don't, I don't know. Very creepy, but I, I really like a lot of these dragons. Like, there's none in particular so far that I've just disliked the look of, and that is always a good sign. And there is also a second Christmas dragon already, and it is this snowman dragon. And I feel like it is likely that this guy may be a tier 10 reward dragon. Like last time I just had the feeling that the Hellhound was going to be the top reward dragon. I feel like the Snowman dragon may be something along those lines. Just a very nice design and obviously going with the Christmas theme. I think maybe something is in the works by Gameloft, but we will have to wait and see. And now next, the Shaggy Dragon. So he's kind of like a weird, abominable snowman slash yeti sort of combination. Very creepy looking guy, but I do like his blue colour palette. Even his eye is blue, like the, the area that's normally white. Very, very strange looking guy, but also kind of wintry as well, so he sort of fits with the season. And then now, now this guy! I love him! Runestone Dragon! Like, this makes sense, because obviously we have all the ruins and stuff like that around Dragonlandia, so 
sooner or later you'd think, well, if we've got a hamburger dragon, surely we're going to have something to do with, like, the runes and all that weird stuff. And this dragon, I think, is perfect. I love this guy, although he does share quite a similar resemblance to one of the clan dragons, the one that blocks the first attack for your team, if you know what I'm talking about. But... I really like this guy as well, and blue is my favourite colour, so obviously I'm going to be a bit biased. But Runestone Dragon, not really sure how they'd bring him out, but I would love to see him as a Dragon of the Week at some point. Love it. Absolutely adore him. And now we have like a throwback to, when was it, like 70s or something? Something around like 60s to 90s. I don't know. I'm not an older person, so I'm unaware but this Roller Skate Dragon is obviously a throwback to that sort of generation. And, like, the lycra slash exercising sweatpants and everything. Very sort of cute and cheeky looking dragon here. So, obviously, if you're a fan of that era, it's not really an era, but obviously you'll probably like this girl quite a lot. And now, for the Orc Dragon, again, with these, like complete differences one after the other from bright pink and like girly to this bloody thing like something out of world of warcraft <laughs> kind of ridiculous this guy i i feel like he goes hand in hand with the warlord dragon just because of his horns and everything like at the end of his horns he, he just has massive sort of like weird triangular things very strange but um you know orc dragon that does seem to be a very fitting Viking dragon, like, of that sort of design of what they'd have. So, if we have this guy as a boss battle, oh, I would be super, super hyped for that. And then we have the old dragon, so no fancy names or anything, just old. And obviously he looks like some kind of, sort of, Chinesey dragon, or he looks like the, what is it, the Mulan dragon a little bit. It looks like someone that you'd go to for advice. It's like, Senpai, I don't know what to do with my life anymore. Please give me your grand advice. And he's like, I am the old wizard dragon. You must do many meditations a day. I don't know why I'm doing like Slavic. Don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'm terrible. Don't, don't even say anything. But I like that this guy is quite plain because obviously we've had like massive hair and all these really, really detailed guys. And then we just have a sort of plainer one to sort of really mix up the bunch. I think that's really, really interesting and pretty good design choice on Game Loss part, in my opinion, of course. And then we have this guy as well. I'm loving the food theme, by the way. But this is the second anniversary dragon, and it looks like a sort of strawberry short, not shortcake, but just a strawberry cake, and it's got the little two on it. And so I said that the New Year 2 dragon could be the anniversary dragon, and that is very possible, but now that I think about it, you know, we've got the Bunt dragon, he was a cake, and obviously the second anniversary dragon is a cake, so um, maybe it does make more sense that this would be the actual anniversary dragon because that the the first one is probably the actual new year's day dragon so scrap what i said at the beginning i'm an idiot i am going with this one again everything i say about these guys or like assume is all speculation i don't know anything for sure and it's not like gameloft have said oh look this is how this dragon will be released in six months time or anything like that no i i, I don't have any of that I really like this dragon though, I really do, but um, I'm going to take my, my previous statement, admit that I could be wrong sometimes, and I think that this is going to be the Bunt replacement. And uh, I, I just want to bring this up because if I was looking through the list of the adult dragons, and I don't believe I see an adult like model for this dragon, and it's a Christmas present dragon baby. But I don't see an adult, like, image for this anywhere. So maybe there are 15 new dragons total from what we can see right now. Because all of the adults put together, that 
I believe is 14. So I think there has been a, a 15 dragon addition to the game. But obviously, present dragon also very Christmas themed. But the interesting thing about that is that apparently the holy dragon is available in the dungeon right now. So maybe one of these is going to be released as next week's Dungeon Dragon, whether that is the present dragon, the uh, the angel dragon, or the snowman dragon. That is yet to be seen, but three Christmas-themed dragons. I guess this guy's kind of Christmas-themed, but not really. But if those three are the Christmassy-themed dragons, then... Well, that's two event dragons and a dungeon dragon right there. But I think I'm going to leave the speculation before it just skyrockets. So, for now, I hope you enjoyed looking through the adult designs of these dragons with me. Obviously, all of the models and everything are in the gallery of new files on Mugba.me. So I will link this in the description of the video so you can look through it yourself. And obviously there are all the baby forms for the new dragons as well. Just not much different, just with bigger eyes and smaller bodies, you know. But um, there's all the eggs as well. Some of these eggs. Just look at this thing. I can't go without just taking a good look at that. That is perfection. That doesn't look like an egg at all. It's actually fantastic. But, um, oh god. I keep intending to end it, but look at this egg. Jesus. That is probably in the running for like my favourite egg of all time. That is pretty sweet. But um, yeah, go check it out if you want to see all of the brand new dragons. I haven't really seen them being posted anywhere else. So I'm glad I get to look through it with you guys. So leave your thoughts below. And if we get any news on any other new dragons, because these may not be all of the new ones. There may be some hidden ones as well. But any information, obviously, I'm going to update you guys. But for now... Thank you very much for looking through these cute guys with me. And until next time, I will see you then.